Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Facebook Live. Today, we're gonna to be talking with Whitney Sparks, a nurse practitioner at Belmont Family Medical Clinic. And Whitney was just telling me she's been with the clinic since 2013, I believe, and just at this clinic for the last couple of years. And of course, we're happy to have her with us today. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Whitney, go ahead and just explain to us, you know, today we're gonna to be talking about what to expect with routine mammograms. Um, maybe for people that are watching, they might have some concerns, some questions. Can you just explain briefly what is a mammogram? I'd be glad to. Um, a mammogram is a low-dose x-ray um, that is used to assess breast tissue for changes concerning for breast cancer. The mammogram is uh, traditionally an annual exam that starts for females at age 40. Now that um, can change from patient to patient if you have um, a family history of breast cancer or personal high-risk medical history. Your provider may speak with you about starting those screenings earlier, um, and you may have a different um, screening process. You may have to be screened more frequently, and you may have to have other types of testing with that. But the traditional screening plan is an annual mammogram at age 40. That can also, uh, males may need mammograms at times as well if they fall within that high-risk category or have a high-risk family history. Sometimes that can be in the form of the personal history or family history. And there are times when male and female patients are screened for high-risk genetic markers that may show that they need that screening earlier. Okay, so you answered a little bit of what my next question is. Um, when should women or men get their first mammogram and do they need to do this annually after that? Yes, they would need to do this annually unless there was some type of abnormal finding that would make that happen sooner. Okay, okay. And what does it feel like? I mean, is it gonna hurt? Is there any concerns of pain being associated with the mammogram? That is a common question that we get with patients, especially before that first screening takes place. Uh, there have been, you, everyone will hear stories about how this hurt, when I had my first one that hurt. A discomfort is reported by some patients, but more than 90% of women tell us that this was very tolerable. It does not keep them from continuing to do their routine mammograms. Now there is, I encourage a lot of my patients to just talk with the technician as they perform the exam. If you feel uncomfortable or you feel discomfort in any way, speak to the technician. Many times they can stop what they're doing, reposition you, or make things to where you can tolerate that in a more comfortable way. This is not supposed to be a painful screening. And usually I have women come back and tell me after that first one, this was so much easier than I thought it would be. This was way more tolerable than I thought it would be. And thankfully our technicians are very well trained. They're very experienced throughout our system and they do a great job of explaining to the patient step by step what they're doing, what they may plan to feel on this part of the screening or that part of the screening that makes it much more tolerable. And there are ways that you can do like um, self-examinations at home. That's and right. Explain what that may be like and for somebody that may not know um, what to look for, what could they right. be looking for? So it is routine, um, routinely encouraged by providers to do self-breast exams monthly. This needs to cover the entire breast tissue starting in the area under the arm there and, and all around the breast tissue. I do encourage uh, patients to actually speak to their provider to actually make sure that they're doing that exam well. And you can also find many tools online to help you, guide you in that process to see how you can best cover all the breast tissue. Doing that monthly is a great way to kind of maintenance in between screenings so that if you find a change in your breast tissue or an area that you're just not sure what this may be or you're concerned about, you can always go to your provider and say, hey, I found this new area, would you please check this for me? And oftentimes the provider will be able to follow from there on what would need to be done next. Well, that's a great segue into my next question. But for those of you just joining us, our guest today is Whitney Sparks, a family nurse practitioner at the Belmont Family Medical Clinic. Today, we're talking about mammograms, again, if you're just joining us, and what you can expect if you've never had one before. We'd also like to mention that we encourage our listeners to post questions in the comments, and Whitney will try to answer them as time allows. Whitney, once a patient has a mammogram, when will they get their results? That's a great question. Um, thankfully, we have 
have very rapid access to results within our system. I do encourage patients to sign up for the portal. Oftentimes, you will get your results same day, um, whether it's mammogram or, or any other type of test that we do. But traditionally, with mammograms, we get the results back within 24 hours. Oftentimes, when the patient has the portal, they will see those results you know, very quickly. We, uh, we will send, if we get the normal result back um, on our desktop, then we would actually be able to um, include a note to the patient that says, hey, this mammogram is normal, let's continue your annual screenings. And oftentimes, when the radiologist reads the report, they will generate a letter to the patient right away that will be sent to them in the mail. Uh, many times, the provider that ordered the test, like your primary care provider, or OBGYN, they will also generate a letter in the mail to, uh, so that you can receive those normal results. The fastest way, though, is to actually be signed up for your My Connection so that you can see that come across very quickly. Um, if they are looking at those results on My Connection and, and maybe they um, see, oh, it's normal, it's all good, and they, they tune out or they don't want to go see their doctor again, I mean, what is your suggestion there? Well, we, when we order the mammogram, we educate right then and there, hey, this will at least need to be an annual screening so that the patient doesn't think that this is a one and done type of screening. This definitely needs to be done annually. And that we encourage people to keep their wellness checkups in general. But we do also encourage that even if you're in for a sick visit, you may come in for you know an infection or a cold and, and you may not be expecting to hear someone remind you about a mammogram, but we take every opportunity to remind our patients, hey, you're due for this, or this is coming up for you. Let's get this. Um, let's get this scheduled. Perfect. Perfect. So let's talk about those results. What happens if it's normal? So if it's normal, generally you will receive that um, letter through your My Connection mm -hmm. or in the mail. Okay. If it is abnormal, um, most times the patient is contacted same day mm -hmm. um, to let them know that this is abnormal. That will typically result in further screening. That may be in the form of a diagnostic mammogram, which is just more specific to the area of concern that may be found on the mammogram. And sometimes that results in an ultrasound so that they can really, the radiologist can really get a good look at an area of concern. Then the radiologist would decide if this area needed to be biopsied or further assessed in some way. Okay. I do encourage patients to keep that mammogram screening within network because it's very helpful when the radiologist has the previous year's reading to compare to the next year specifically if there are findings that require further evaluation those can be compared easily from year to year and it's safer for the patient to have that consistency in screening that's a great point so where can I get a mammogram? If I, you know, maybe I just go to my primary care doctor and will I talk to her or him or where can I find out where to do that? That's a great question. And thankfully, North Mississippi has great access to mammograms. We have mammogram locations in our community hospitals like West Point, Iuka, Eupora, Hamilton. And of course, we have mammogram available there in Tupelo for the Breast Care Center. We have imaging centers there. So that really covers a broad um, area. So there, there's very little issue of access. Mm -hmm. There, thankfully, we have access in across the board in the, in our location, so the patients don't have to travel very far for their mammogram. Sure. Well, of course, as we all know, healthcare can get very expensive. Yes. What um, what could people know if they're worried about cost? Does insurance cover a mammogram? Yes, your insurance will cover mammograms as part of your annual screening need. Uh, thankfully, um, we have great published guidelines on things like mammograms, and so those published guidelines have been applied, thankfully, to um, our insurance companies, and they're able to, to cover these screenings. We do have you know, patients that we see that don't have um, insurance coverage, and so I encourage them, don't, don't use that as a reason not to seek out having your routine screenings done. Speak to your primary care provider or speak to your OBGYN about having these done. There are programs and things available to be able to still access that screening without avoiding that because of cost. There, there are plenty of ways to access screenings even without insurance coverage. Fantastic. And of course, we can't really have very many conversations without talking about COVID. So I know it's changed the way we do things over the last year and a half. Um, and maybe some people are putting off some of those routine screenings. 
what can people know and what do you suggest if someone wants to come into it for a visit, what can they expect? Well, first of all, we do still require masking. So anywhere you go in our clinic system, hospital system, to have your mammogram done or any other testing, fully expect to see consistency in mask wearing. Social distancing, of course, is practiced within our clinics and hospital systems. There's thorough cleaning between each patient, whether you are having your mammogram done, whether you are in the clinic setting, going into a room or having lab done. There have been precautions in place, thankfully, since COVID started to ensure that our patients are safe. And I do encourage people to get back out there, get in touch with your provider. We can, of course, see patients virtually. We have access to video visits, thankfully. And we can even order your mammogram screening with your video visit. So there is, we have open access across the board and we don't want people to avoid having these screenings done now because we have great safety precautions in place across the board. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you, Whitney, for taking some time, of course, thank to you. speak with us today. Just a reminder, this Facebook Live will remain on our Facebook page, so please share it with anyone you think might be interested or someone that you might know that could be getting their routine mammogram done soon. Again, thanks again, Whitney. We appreciate it, and thank you to everyone who has joined us today. We hope you have a great day.